Laser gates, laser gates, gates of lasers. When you think of words that are used to make up great video game titles, especially on the Atari 2600, we think of words like space and dungeon, cavern, ninja, how about laser, as in laser gates for the Atari 2600 from a magic released in 1983. As the title suggests, this game has gates made of lasers, and you fly through them. It's awesome. This is a cool Atari 2600 game. I looked up the instructions online, and apparently you're flying through a computer brain or something. There's like four fail-safe detonators you have to blow up, and... Well, it's pretty tricky, and a lot of fun. Sadly, the screen area is not that big, but it plays really well. Good controls, especially when using the Sega Genesis controller, which is what I'm playing Laser Gates with. I think it looks a lot like Vanguard. Not a bad thing. You'll want to keep an eye on your energy, shields, and the D-Time. Which probably stands for detonation time or something, but when you're playing with a giant disco ball right behind you that reflects in the middle of the screen... I think it stands for Disco Time. We must defeat the Cryo Brain before the laser gates stop Disco Time. It's an important mission. And watch out for those homing missiles, they're deadly. The laser gates and the shooty walls aren't too hard to avoid once you get into it. It's the homing missiles and the other enemies that do a lot of damage. Unless you're an idiot and fly into a shooty wall, which I just did. You can occasionally pick up an energy pod floating around, but the only way to replenish your shields is by scoring 10,000 points and 20 and 30 and so on. You'll want your shields, they're kind of important. The enemy attacks will speed up as you pass each of the detonator things. And uh, watch out for the ones that are booby-trapped. Yeah, they suck. Nobody likes you! If you hit the booby-trap detonator a couple times, it'll blow your own ship up, and then it's game over. Man, game over. Ow. Once I got the hang of flying the ship, the laser gates really weren't that much of a problem. It's the homing missiles. Every time I destroy a homing missile, it's like a small victory. Then the gameplay footage seems to line up perfectly with me crashing into something. But the laser gates themselves do comparatively little damage even though they're made from lasers. It's the homing missiles and the other enemies that you've got to watch out for. If you fly all the way to the right of the screen, you can speed it up, but... You know, that's, that's really just not a good idea. It really speeds up once you pass the third one, but remember, you're fighting for disco time. Stay alive. And I've got a Laser Gates-sized Classic Game Room shout-out and thank you to send to Gary once again from Ridgewood, New Jersey. Thank you for sending laser gates to the show, Gary. This game is super cool. I highly recommend it. It doesn't cost all that much out there. And you must have it for your Atari 2600 collection. Laser gates. Gates of lasers.